What is good? It is uh, it is time for episode 82 of the new comics in Hockey's of the Week. Let's get into it. Be back in 30 seconds. Oh, Suggy Suggy now. What's good, Council of Comics? Welcome to the new Keys and Hot Comics of the Week, episode number 82. We're doing it today. We're giving away the huge prize. It's the end of March. Are you ready? Are we going to get 25 live in the chat to get more stuff? I don't know. Let's go. Black is the brightest day. Where are the heroes? is good council of comics welcome to another edition of new keys and hot comics of the week where we go over all the new books that are coming out this week all the new keys we go over the hottest books as well and we also do our amazing giveaway it's the end of the month so somebody is winning this stack of books we have so many so many books to add on to it tonight and the key and go tell your friends right now if we get 25 or more in the live chat i've got an extra book that's valued about 15 to 20 dollars cliff's got some extra books but if we get 25 in the live chat we're gonna add those in there as always remember to like and subscribe if you have not subscribed please hit the subscribe button please hit that notification button go let your friends know um and as always the loyal council is in the house cliff phil c bizzle how are you today I'm yeah. very good. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Green shirt guy is somewhere. We're hoping he pops up at some time during the live stream. Where are you, green shirt guy? Come in, come in, come in. Uh, who we got in here already? We got Las Cruces as always saying hoorah. What's good, Las Cruces? Beckerman is in the house. Thank you for joining us. The comic chef is in the house. Thank you for joining us. Big L is also in the house. Thank you for joining us. All right. So let me get into the shout out things that I do first before anything. Oh, Dagger, I see you there. What's good, Dagger Cards? All right. Let me go through all this stuff. And then we'll get into the show that y'all been waiting for. Young at Heart Foundation. This is a great organization run by our good friend Mike out in California. They do great things for the kids awaiting medical procedures out there. There's two ways that you can help this organization one way is to register to become a donor by going to the website clicking on this button for donate at life america more than a hundred thousand people are waiting for a life-saving transplant and you can help by registering to be a donor today the other way to help is to sponsor a a hope kit which is 100 percent tax deductible to take all the funds and create great great little gift boxes for the kids that are awaiting these medical procedures also, if you want to get in touch with Mike and help him another way, you can give him a call at 323-396-9998 or email him at info at youngatheartfoundation.com. Do a great thing for these kids out there. Do a great thing. All 10 of us, this is our home away from home. This is where we do all our filming. Uh, okay. uh, we do all our filming come together once a week and talk about comic books and scream at each other and laugh at each other and cry with each other it's just a big old smorgasbord of everything you could possibly imagine we will be there tomorrow night alternaverse is located in hyde park new york and it's owned by our good friend anthony one of the greatest people in the business you gotta meet him you gotta understand that this man is just great great and his shop is great um they have comics cards and toys they have the hudson valley's best selection of comic books and every single comic book that comes to that shop is bagged and boarded we see it ourselves it's amazing you know you ever go to a comic book shop and you see the wall and none of the books are bagged and boarded and you gotta look through them to make sure that they're not like crinkles or anything not an alternative i tell you (laughs) Not at all, ten of us. Every single one is bagged and bored before you buy it. 
And we are gifted with that. that. Like, <laughs> yes, we are very blessed with that, Anthony. And we thank you very much. He doesn't charge you for it. He does it because he's a comic book lover. Um, if you want to get an extra 10% off new books, no matter the country where you are, get in touch with Anthony at 845-233-4234 and start a pull list with Alterniverse, and they will give you an additional 10% off on your books. You can also reach him at Alterniverse2 at AOL.com for the email, and the website is Alterniverse.net. They also do card tournaments on the weekends, Lorcana, Pokemon, Magic, whatever you can think of. Give Anthony a call. They'll give you the schedule. Those are great, great things going down over there. Uh, our YouTube channel, the Council of Comics, we're at 817 on our way to 1000. If you have not hit subscribe, please hit that subscribe button right now. We got tons of videos on the channel. Uh, we just put up a Council of Conversations where we reviewed Conan issue number nine, which was given to us by Titan Comics so we can preview it. Conan is a phenomenal series from Titan Books, by the way. If you're not reading Conan and you're a fan, you need to check it out. We also, I'm also putting up, uh, there's a new comic book pickups that's dropping on Saturday. Uh, 21 books for $21. New comic book day, episode 91 is also up. Um, and there's just tons and tons of stuff on there. Check Phil's place. He's got a playlist. Uh, and we have tons of other things as well. Also, subscribe to Cliff on Comics. Cliff has a YouTube channel as well. He does tons of great stuff. Tell me about your channel, Cliff. Well, I've got lots of random nerd chats. I've got my comic book box unboxings and mystery box unboxings. And of course, I have trivia, which uh, returns to the special edition this Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, featuring DJ Lynx, John's Comics with Kids, Black Crown Comics, Tony from Comiverse. I hope I'm not forgetting someone. It's going to be a fun time. <laughs> it's one of the best shows on, t on, on TV. I guess it is TV, but on YouTube. You can also see it on our channel and stream on both channels. Um, so like and subscribe up to Cliff so we can get him to 700 and then 800 and then 900 and then 1,000 as well. And also, please like and subscribe to Couching and Slouching with C. Bizzle. I'm trying to get him to that 500 mark. C. Bizzle, what's your channel about? So right now, uh, my channel is uh, mainly unboxings. I do got some story time videos on my channel with more to come. Um, I'm, there's a lot of mini series that I'm going to talk about on this coming year. So I can't wait to dive back into my story time videos. Excellent. Like and subscribe yeah. to Calvin and Slouching with C. Bizzle. Boom. Can I add All one right. more shout out? Go ahead. All right. Next shout out is going to be for our... As soon as I can bring up the screen. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. You seeing it? Yes. All right, this shout out is to 22 Comics' top 10 alternatives. He's on at 9 p.m. on Mondays. He's on right after us. He's also at 807 subscribers. And if we hit 1,000 together, we'll do one big crossover episode. So you expect a lot of good things to come out of it and some amazing prizes. I just want to incentivize people to get the word out and grow our channels. 22 Comics, go subscribe to that Chizano. Uh, who else came in here? Bleaker Street is in here. What up, Bleaker? Thank you for joining us. Comic Cap, thank you for joining us. Rich. All right. Canadian Survivalist. <laughs> Canadian, oh, wait, wait. Canadian Survivalist is in the house. Boom. All right. Check this out. Somebody's winning this prize tonight. I'm going to show you what we got so far. All right. How does this work? I'm going to put a hashtag up that you got to put in the comments. And then we're going to do three duck chances tonight. And you're going to get a chance to win a duck in each thing. And at the end of the show, we're going to do the race for the big one. All right. So what's in this prize? We got X-Men 254. Dope Jim Lee cover right there. We got Uncanny X-Men 228. Very dope. Very dope. We have an Inhuck Lee Timeless variant. Beautiful. Very nice. We have some independent books. Legend Fell, kind of like a Game of Thrones type thing. Issue 1 and 2. That's in there. Phil's, one of Phil's favorites, Pine and Merrimack, number 1. Okay. Very, very dope. The art in this is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, number 1 from AWA, Sins of the Sultan Sea. Ooh. Very nice. We have a Ghost Rider from the 90s, number 24, with a text cover. Very, very dope. 
We have Supergirl number one from the 90s. Very nice. Very, very nice. Amazing. We have another Uncanny X-Men 271. Jim Lee Ooh. cover Extinction Agenda. Zoom, that, boom. Very, very nice. We have a Ryan Gary Brown exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cover, yeah. Alterniverse cover exclusive, ladies and gentlemen. That's in there. We also have the Astonishing X-Men 9.6 graded book that's going in there. We also Ooh. have a Funko Pop of Vigilante that's going in there. And I'm adding two books. I'm adding a Storm Icon number one. This is a dope mm. series right there. Very, very dope. And I'm adding an iconic X-Men 24 Gambit and Rogue X-Men 97 vibes. That's also going in there. Cliff, not the extra ones, but the stuff you volunteered already. Spectacular Spider-Man number one, blank cover, uh -huh. so you can add some cool stuff to it. And this lovely Ghost Rider Final Vengeance number one, which you may hate there's too many Ghost Riders, but this is actually a really good story and I'm looking forward to more. Excellent. Um, now, if we get 25 or more viewers in the live chat, I'm going to add another book. And this is from... Any comic and toy, Jeff the Prez gave us a giveaway from a few shows back. New Mutants 87, the second print gold cover, about a $15 value. First appearance of cable, very, very dope. We get 25 or more, we're putting that in there. Uh, and Cliff, you have some for 25 or more? Oh, I do, I do. Okay, but what I'm gonna actually make people wait. Yeah, and I was supposed to make it wait, but I didn't do that. I, I I'm gonna, gonna make, I'm gonna make it all the way. <laughs> I messed all it up. I, all I can tell you is I'm going to make sure it's worth it. Excellent. So let's hit Excellent. let's hit 25 tonight. I'm so huge, yeah, huge prize. Huge prize tonight. Huge prize tonight. All right. So the first hashtag of the night. Let me get these banners ready. Hashtag duck me. Hashtag duck me in the comments. Let me get this banner up there. Hashtag duck me in the comments and you will be entered to win a duck. We're going to do this three times tonight with different hashtags in each one. All right. So hashtag duck me in the comments. Look at them already adding them in. All right. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh, we'll do our first one after we talk about these new books that we've read this week. All right. All right, what we got for new books this week? Um, my, oh my goodness. 25 oversized issue. How was that? Uh, uh, fun, very fun. It was fun. Yeah, like that's a good, good way to describe because there's two stories really. And it's uh, the first story is uh, instead of Batman and Superman, it's the Joker and Lex Luthor. And it's like mm. their first like kind of like team up and like the second one is kind of another like, fun story but it's like a continuation next world finest it's a you know it's a batmite story okay excellent um did anybody read uh expert forever number one i have not yet not i yet. did it was very it was, i thought it was very good yeah yeah this is a storm it's a mini series is that right no yes, this is. is a one shot I oh, this one's a one shot. I think no, I, so. I, I swear, oh, is, it, a mini. is it a mini series? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, continuing the Fall of X storyline, Gargoyles. I believe it's coming up on his last this, issue, isn't it? This is the this is the last issue. Oh, that this is this week the last has been issue. a this has been a week of last issues. So I got that. Like oh, Panther, Black Panther, Panther ended too. Oh. And this is the second to last issue. Uh, Blade ends at ten, hmm. but you know it has it has that blood hunt event coming up, so he's gonna oh, be a yeah, major yeah. part of that. So yeah, he definitely is. Uh, Resurrection. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. You go ahead. Resurrection of Magneto. I uh, read favorite. some X books. That's oh a good my one. goodness, uh, this was great. This was yeah, phenomenal. That. Do you know what is? I, I, I've been reading though the Magic Four Knights from Wolverine. How is that? There's, Chris Claremont, it's great. Okay. Yeah, it continues from an older like X Men book, 
So it's, it's, it's a continuation from that earlier time period. Yeah, I think it was 265 or something like that. I the think so, yeah. First uh, Jim Lee ongoing art. That's a great classic issue right there. Um, I thought Moon Knight was pretty good. It's continuing Vengeance of Moon Knight. Mm-hmm. Um, they still don't know who this guy is, but uh, I think we're just we're figuring out it's another personality of Mark Spector is what we're, we're figuring out. Um, some new personality. Um, I, haven't, I haven't read this book, but I went back to the LCS to pick it up. So I haven't read it yet, but it's Dawn Runners. Oh, it's a Glickman. Yeah. Okay. That's a Glickman got, right there. I got the cover A. Uh, Spawn is good. Spawn's starting a new thing after 350. Nice. He doesn't have any of his powers. None of those Spawn things have their powers, so they got to fight with regular weapons. Um, pretty, pretty cool. Um, my last two things are G.I. Joe, Real American Hero was phenomenal. I actually read it right before coming on the podcast tonight because <laughs> I knew you were going to talk about it. Like, right, How good is it, though? Joe. Like, it's so good. It's very but, good. So like good. Serpentor could be like a, a hashtag later tonight. Yeah. Serpentor <laughs> Khan. And then, oh my God. Horror G.I. Joe continues. Like, nice. this book is crazy, man. It's crazy, <laughs> man. I need to go um, back and get some back issues on that. Oh, this is so good. Energon Universe right here. Very, very dope Cobra Commander. It's a horror book. Right now, the Dreadnoughts have, well, in this issue, they captured Cobra Commander. And they're just like, who are you? And he's just like, your future master. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, it's a it's a torture issue too. Like, yeah, it's kind of torture. Ne- Nemesis Enforcer comes out in this. It's like the way they're just like weaving everything in from all the con- the continuities is just really really dope. But Joshua Williamson is killing it. Um, that's that's all. Anybody else got anything else? Just like older stuff. Like I, I read the the Miss Marvel Mutant Menace Ooh. one. How you um, like it? Yeah, I liked it. I enjoyed, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I'm, I'm still I'm still loving Avengers Twilight. Yeah, I caught up on I caught up a little bit on the Phantom Road. I've been nice, so, nice. Uh, Blue Book. It's like the same type of thing. Uh, this actually, this first issue of Blue Book uh, was like the story of how like UFOs got the name Flying Saucers. Hmm. So that was like yeah, that was like a really in good in world tree. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, I, I have I don't flying objects. So, yeah, I, I gotta read the new issue now. So. Yeah. Excellent. Anything else? Nope. Nope. All right. Good. Shout out to Kenneth Bird. He's in the house. I still support all for you guys all the time. I like what you do for the comic book family all the time. Thank you so much for your guys. Oh, thank you, Kenneth. That's very heartwarming. We love we love you for that. Appreciate you. Uh, we're at 19. We get to 25. You're going to get that new mutants in there. 87 second print. And Cliff's going to throw something in there. Only need six more. Brian LCS is in the house. Hey, Brian. How you doing, Brian? 23 monsters in the house. Thank you for joining us. Um, like seven away. Seven away from that 25. Seven away. Uh, Colton Oakley is in the house. Thank you for he joining us. It. Ken Rolon is in the house. Thank you for joining us. All right. All right, so I think we can do our first duck drawing. There's only 11. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. I'm going to put this music up. You got 30 seconds to put hashtag duck me in the comments. Hashtag duck me. So we've got, right now we got about, uh, it's about 13, 14, 15 books with a slab and a pop. Um, and we got more books that we want to put in there. If we can get that live chat over 25, that's just a huge, huge prize. We like to give you guys a lot of great things. We like to give back to the community. Um, we just love giving you stuff, giving stuff away. Um, one thing before uh, uh, we do the duck prize, we made a mistake yesterday. Next Sunday, there won't be any film and box office news. And the reason why there won't be no film and box office news it's resurrection day it's easter day all right so you know do something with your family if you do something with yourself do something for yourself do something good put some light into the world put some love into the world do something great 19 in the live chat so we got 10 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go! Who's going to win the first duck of the night, ladies and gentlemen? Round and round we go where it stops. No one knows. Ken Rolon gets Ken a duck. Again. We like Ken Rolon getting ducks because he likes donating his, uh, giving you guys another chance if he wins. So, excellent right there. Congratulations, Ken Rolon, on that ducky duck. I'm naming um, him Kenny Rolon. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny Rolon. <laughs> Kenny Rolon. Um, we need another hashtag. Phil! What's the hashtag? hashtag uh, we, I just said it. Serpent Turkan. Serpentor. Serpent. Oh, it's a lot of letters for them. I don't know. Huh. A lot of letters for them. It's a big but, prize. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's a big prize. You say it. <laughs> Hashtag Serpentor Khan. Serpentor Khan. Well, that's, let me put that's that certainly a mouthful. Head. My goodness. Yeah, 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 you're gonna earn that doc right there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, people are out Banner. there still congratulating Ken. <laughs> With so much love. We're only six away from that 25. Come on, guys. Come on. You want to get it now, right? You don't want to wait till next month for that. You want to get it now. You want to get it now. All right, SerpentorCon. Right. Then boom, at the bottom, SerpentorCon. That's the next one that we will do. Uh, so pay attention. It's correct, Brian. Right. Yeah. All right. Let's switch up the music. And let's talk about, I don't know, key collect. He <laughs> oh, he's the week. oh my god no. i took a Maybe little I agree with him. i mean i'm guessing this is a facsimile that's coming okay. out i hope not because you know, those prices. They, yeah this high mid uh you know what i mean um and it's just the original stuff and then wait is there what's this view more number eight on what what is this what are you doing key collector Okay. What are you doing? It's number eight on the hot ten. This is not... Uh, or maybe it's a facsimile. They've been putting out a lot of facsimiles. So. This is not a facsimile. It's not a facsimile? What are you doing, Key Collector? Yeah, yeah. I pay good money for this app. Scroll what are you doing? Sure. Wait, scroll back up and make sure we're in the right We're in the right. Yeah, list. Look at these keys this week. We're in the right thing right here. This is wild. All right. You, you what's the other variant? I looked at it. It's just the like the reprints of oh, it. Okay. Oh, okay. The 1966. Yeah, like a uh, uh, yeah. They're out there so. I got you. That's it. I don't know what they're doing. I, I don't know what they're doing over there at Key Collector Comics. They're just taking my money. Remember that commercial <laughs> where he throws the money out the window? Hey, just take my money. <laughs> um. All right. Let's see what else is on this list. Batman Dark Ages, Dark Age number one, the origin of Batman and how his development as a character evolved alongside the growth of America and world culture. I, I was like, wow, did Green Shirt Guy draw this? It looks like a Green Shirt Guy. <laughs> I was like, he made it. He made it. Um, but no. Uh, this is a Joey book. Joey loves Batman. Oh, I like but... the Batman well, too. Superman yeah. Space Age was good, so let's hope that this is a nice follow up. Uh, I was yeah. gonna say, like, this doesn't really like tell us anything. Like, the origin of Batman, we got a bunch. Like, we got the origin <laughs> of Batman down. <laughs> yeah. I guess he sees what happened during life. Uh, like, does the... he see, like, you know, like the last you know, 80 yeah. years of American history as it revolved around Batman? Oh, I, yeah. I, I, I feel like we certainly will. I feel, but it's gonna be a bat. It's gonna be in a world where Batman actually exists. Yes. 
in a world where Batman exists. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that'll cost you six. That's weird. <laughs> All right, that'll cost you six dollars. Uh, next up, Edge of Spider Verse number two. This will cost you five dollars. The first appearance of Spooky Man. Mm-hmm. I'm, that, okay. This book is in my pull list, so I'm definitely getting is it. That Spooky Man because he looks just like Venom. I don't know. It does look like Venom. Well, but, you know. Unless Spooky Man is a Spider Man that just never like got too crazy with the venom of it all, just scares people. Spooky Man, he's a city, right? Almost <laughs> like one of those child stories. <laughs> oh, look who's look who's here! Sorry, guys. It's the I had green a lacrosse, guy. I had a lacrosse game that ran long, so I'll follow. Oh, good green shirt guy. Thank you for coming on in. Um, all right, there's that one. Do we want to look at the variants? Look at the variants real quick. Yeah. Um, this is the one in 50. Mm-mm. The one in 50. There's two one in 50s. Okay. So it's the I'm one not hot five. on a on a sketch cover being on one in 50. I I'm agree. just not hot on that. Like, come on, bro. What? You um, want to pay extra for something that has nothing on it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I would not like to do that. Another one in 50. I don't think there's three one in 50s for this book. I think this is another era of Key Collector. But um, I remember this. This is from Spider-Man back in the days. Yeah. Um, this was after Todd McFarlane left the book. And Eric Larson was on there for a little bit. And then this character, was, this character was created. He had like a Deathlock arm or something. Um there's the regular vert. I mean that looks so much better than that 50 sketch like what are we doing mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. uh, spider verse the star wars homage cover nice um that's pretty cool uh and then spooky man i like that i guess, one. That, I guess that's him right there in the cover right oh that's spooky yeah. man maybe he's the kid yeah yeah maybe he's the kid all right, that's giving a little Rugrats feel right there. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's Spider Verse. Uh, next up, this is my pick of the week right here. Feral, number one, uh, from the creators of Stray Dogs. Three indoor cats become lost outdoors during a nightmarish rabies outbreak. Uh, some are calling this Stray Dogs Walking Dead, but with cats. Um, I think this is going to be great. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be great. It's a $4 book. Let's see what the variants are. Hey, guys, guess what? What? Hmm. That, uh, that Spider-Verse has two 1 in 50 variants. Really? Hmm. Yep. Crazy. Both, uh, I wonder if they let you... Now, do they let you order one of each if you get 50, or do you have to get 100 to get... I'm like... I'm like 80% sure they let you order one of each after you hit 50, but we'll find out from Anthony tomorrow. Yeah. Here's the ash can that everybody's clamoring for. It's $40. Um, yeah. There's the one in 10, was just the virgin. Mm-hmm. Um, the one in 25. The one in 50. Um, what is this movie? Gone of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, that's mm. Dawn of the Dead homage right there. Uh, Night of the Living Dead. Night of the Feral oh. Cat. One in 100. I got that poster right here. The claws are out. Um, and then just a regular variant right there. Uh, that's, no, that's another... That's um, another zombie movie. Yeah, that's, that's another um, zombie movie. Uh, I can't think of it. Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead. Okay. okay. And then the the blank. Yeah, that's my pick for this week. Go out and get yourself some feral, especially get that cover A. Cover A's are wild. Oh, we just saw that. All right, what are you showing us here? Hundred dollars oh. for the preview edition. Twenty twenty four comics pro dealer meeting. All right, none of us. Right, none no. of us. Incredible Hulk number ten. Possible yes. first appearance of the Ghost Detective. Incredible Hulk has been phenomenal. Yes, Twenty-two I... in the live chat. We only need three more. Three more for those two extra more. books. Two more for those extra books. Call your friends. Get it in there. 
This prize is going to be crazy tonight. Um, Incredible Hulk is a great book. It's a phenomenal book. It's a yes. horror book. Um, it kind of... Remember when it was horror before the last arc? Like yes. Mortal Hulk? Yeah, Mortal Hulk. It kind of yeah, has, yeah. has that feel again to it. Yeah. Um, but this is a dope book, and it has a possible first appearance key. That'll cost you four dollars. It's got some variants. Let's check out the variants real quick. The one in fifty. I've, I've been enjoying this book a lot. Oh, it's great with all the monsters and everything. Yes, it's great. Um, okay, the regular one. Mm-hmm. This is the cover I'm getting right here. This nice. cover is phenomenal. Now are you getting that and cover A? Mm-hmm. Ah, that's the choice I gotta make tomorrow. <laughs> that's the choice you I gotta know, make tomorrow. Joe, you you won't even know the answer to that choice by the end of like, the show. Like, <laughs> most, like, and most likely, no. Still uh, my ball. <laughs> uh, okay, I, give, I agree with you, Beckerman. He is the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Um, Jackpot Black Cat number one. Yes. Five dollars. Four issue limited series. Um, okay. Uh, I'm still not a fan of Mary Jane being a superhero, but yeah. I guess some people like it. We got the one in 25. Okay. Um, one in 50. I only wish that I liked her outfit more. more. <laughs> That's a cool cover. That's a dope black cat right there. Because her, because if she's gonna be a superhero, palling around with black cat, I am super in love with. I love how they're written together. But for God's sake, someone get that woman a uniform. (laughs) Yes, a better one than she got on. Twenty three in a live chat. We only need two more guys. We only need two more. Tell your friends to hop on in. This is the one in one hundred. It's a little weird. Very cartoony. Um, yeah, I'm just not feeling this, bro. Yeah. 25. Oh, I see 25. 25, baby. 25. So we're going to add. So we'll show you what those books are. Well, you know, the New Mutants one is going in there. This is going in there. But Cliff's going to show you at the end what's going to go in there. A lot of extra stuff going on. So congratulations. Good job out there, Council. Good job um here's the regular variant regular variant oh they have this as a regular it's like the cards so yeah okay. it's pretty dope uh i might not get uh, incredible whole cover a and get this I was, yeah, I was gonna say like yeah maybe yeah um no, it's a cute like it'll probably be a cuter comic yeah uh, here goes another variant and another variant that's that one I love. That, uh, that, uh, that I like, like that a homage one. to like a Deadpool cover. This one? Yeah. I don't know. There's something about that cover I, I really know. like a lot. It gives me cloak and dagger vibes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It gives me Bond vibes. Mm-hmm. Next up, Miles Morales, Spider Man number 18. Oversized 300th issue of Miles Morales. I want to yeah. get some of the variants for this, but it's nine dollars a book. I know. I'm only getting one. I'll show you the one I'm getting. This nine dollars is gonna cost you guys nine freaking dollars. Twenty seven in the live issues. chat. All you twenty seven yeah. in the live chat, you gotta put hashtag Sorpentorcon. It's on the bottom, and you get a duck for the next drawing. Was everything going back down to price again? Oh. They made that announcement, but never really said when that was going to happen. Yeah. Um, right, it one. doesn't count for specials. That's yeah. true. This is the one it is 72 five. pages. It is a 72 page comic, though. Yeah, it's a bigger book. Uh, okay. One in 25. There's the one in 50. Ooh. Nope. I'm not getting that. Okay, I'm going to tell you which one I'm getting. It's not that one. Here's the one in 100. It's the meh. It's the insignia yeah, it's one. The like, give me a break. No, thank you. Um, they already have a second print. Jeez. Oh, well. This is the one I'm getting. That's the one I'm getting, too. This is the one I'm getting. 
Because I got the Black Panther one like that, and I want to get that. Yeah, I feel like it gives us a 300 issue vibe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, So that's the one I'm getting. Extra ten dollars, me extra nine dollars tomorrow. Well, Wednesday. This is also a cool one, but it's a variant. M versus Rabble. Yep. That's a variant. Oh, we got a Miles Morales. What if Miles Morales is the human torch? That's okay. it. interesting. Interesting. Uh, insignia. Okay. Those are the Miles books. Uh, Ultimate Spider Man number three. Spider Man and Green Goblin team up to fight a new villain. We all know Ooh. Ultimate Spider-Man is just hot right now, man. Like, it's a great book, great story, great art. Um, yeah. Why there's a six there? I don't know. They're throwing, they're throwing me off, too. What is that all about? Um, it's key collector, like, taking snapshots of other websites. <laughs> <laughs> <Listen. Yo. laughs> <laughs> My God, man. What are you doing over there? Jeez. <laughs> Let's see what variants Ultimate Spider-Man has. Uh, one in twenty-five. That's a pretty decent one. I like that one. That's decent. Um, the regular variant, Mark Bagley. Um, I might get this one. It does look nice. Yeah, that one looks pretty cool. Looks like Is we're gonna get the bullseye. Yeah, and then the shocker. I oh, like the how shocker. the shocker was mentioned. Yeah. Shocker. Okay. Yeah. That's the um, one I was thinking about getting. This one? The homage yeah. to Spider Man No More is just the laundry version. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um and then the Mary Jane Watson one. Where she's not a superhero. She's just regular <laughs> old mother Mary Jane. <laughs> regular old mom Mary Jane. What we've been waiting for forever. <laughs> oh, Watch goodness. her turn out to be Ultimate Green Goblin and everybody like, oh. no, please, no. <laughs> Leave Mary Jane Watson alone. Leave her alone, oh, man. Good. That would break and the internet. X Men 97, number one. This is a prelude to the animated series, um which is phenomenal, by the way. I love the animated show. Ooh, um, will they tell us how Jean got pregnant? <laughs> Cliff, you know, all right. Maybe after the show, I'll sit down with you if you need to know how. I hope you out. All right, this is a family show. We can't talk about those things. Um, this is the one in twenty-five. Right. One in twenty-five. Her and one Wolverine went to the bar. <laughs> wow, one like, in one hundred. The one in one hundred looks yeah, really nice. But there's a regular one with. The oh, little, where was that movie that Cyclops was stuck on the moon? Remember? Uh, yes, yeah. that was my favorite thing to happen. Yeah. This one is dope. I might get this one. It is. Yeah. I might get that one. Um yeah, this one. Eh. But I like this one as well. Mm-hmm. That's a dope one as well. Jubilee makes it all right there. Mm-hmm. Uh all right. And those, ladies and gentlemen, are your new keys for this week from Key Collector. Uh, which books are you guys going to get? Please leave in the comments below. Um, let me see how many we got here. We got 16 on the Serpentor Con. 16 on the Serpentor Con. I think we're going to do a drawing. All right. Let me get over here. Boom. <coughs> I'm going to give you 15 seconds if you have not. There's 16. There's 19 in the chat. Serpentor Con if you have not done it yet. Please do so right now. Lots of lovely books. New Mutants 87 second print was just added to it. Cliff's got a bunch of books that he's adding to it as well. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Who is going to win this prize tonight? Who's going to win this giveaway? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Draw. Round and round it goes where it stops. Nobody on the council knows who will win a duck. Who will win Canadian survivalist? 
Congratulations, Ooh. Canadian survivalist. You have a duck in the entrance. I believe he's won one before, too. Okay. They might have a couple in there. Congratulations, sir. Uh... Let's see. Excellent. It looks like this uh, is his first one. That's the first one? All right. Yeah. So we put that. And C. Bizzle. Please give us our final hashtag of the night. I'm going to make it easy for you guys. EP82. EP82. I like that. For episode, episode 82. EP82. I had that huge one, so I'm trying to minimize it. <laughs> make it easy now. <laughs> yeah. <huh? laughs> <laughs> Um, or in that middle duck, boom. in eating survival. <laughs> so, <laughs> to win that last duck, you have to put EP82 in the comments below. Let me put it up here as a banner. EP82. Yeah. Cool. EP82, because that's where we're on, episode 82. Um, and we did reach 25, so... Good job, Council. Good job on that. All right, moving along. Cover Price giving us some change for our money. Cliff, have you seen Cover Price lately? Yeah. Makes me happy. Yeah, they're, they're doing some things over there. Uh, mostly, mostly, mostly it makes me happy because of what's on my wall. Yeah, not only yeah. Give us a 10, but they give us a 10 runner up too, so we got to fly through this here. And number okay. 20. Omega Man number three, a 9.8 slab went for 349. Coming in, first appearance of Lobo. And number 19, this is X Men Annual number 14. The first cameo. Some say first appearance. It's but first his first cameo. Appearance. It's his first appearance because I have lines? that one. According that to one? Wizard Magazine, this was, that was the cameo. Like, the Wizard is dead. <laughs> Long live, long live Gambit's first appearance. Yeah, I have that issue, so it's his first appearance. I have that issue as well, so I agree with everybody. Uh, the controversy, if you guys are wondering, this book came out, you were able to buy it before X Men 266. Um, so that's why we consider it sometimes the first appearance, and then, uh, yeah, that's it. it. Came out before on the newsstand. Number eighteen, we have Marvel Team Up, Spider Man, and the Human Torch. Number one. That's one. Yeah, I want it so yeah. bad. A raw VG, forty-six bucks. Very one, good. One through three is just Spidey and Human Torch. Mm. At number seventeen, we have X Men number four by Jim Lee and Chris Claremont. It's the first appearance of Omega Red. A raw VF top sale for twenty dollars. Very nice. 16 Transformers number one, the new Transformers that came out. Slab 9.8 sold for about $68. That's pretty hot. Uh, number 15, uh, Beneath the Trees Where Nobody Sees number one, a 9.8 sold for $225. Good that Lord. That might be a bit much, but I support it. $225. Uh, number 14, we have the one per store, Edge of Spider Verse number one. Uh, this is a $40 book. Number 13, we have Avengers number 196, first appearance of the Taskmaster. A raw Ooh. VF went for 70 bucks. I'm surprised about that. Uh, at number book. 12, well, uh, 12, we have I Heart Skull Crusher number one, uh, The Virgin, one per store. This is about a $36 book. And number 11, Avengers Twilight number one reached sales of about thirty dollars for issue number one. This is a hot story, hot book. Those are the runners up. Let's go to the let's go to the videotape. Mm. Number ten. This is X Men number two twenty one. First appearance of Mister Sinister. Nine point four slab, one hundred bucks. That's a big key book right there. And number nine, we gave one of these away. This is yeah. X Men number two forty four. The first appearance of Jubilee. A VF cost about book. 35. Uh, yeah. And number eight, we have Spider Man number one by Todd Mickey Farland. Uh, hey. 9.8 for 120 <laughs> bucks. Not bad. Classic book right there. Number seven, we have X Men number 213. Um, going for about 31 bucks. This is just a classic cover. I'm not sure about whether it's a first It's a classic battle. 
Uh, the somebody, there's an appearance in there too, but I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at number six, we have X Men number two hundred: The Trial of Magneto, first appearance of the M suit, which you saw in X Men ninety seven, the animated series. A nine point eight went for about one hundred six bucks. That's dope right there. Um, number five, Dazzler's back on the charts, baby. Coming in at number five, her first ongoing series, right there. Very very dope. A raw near mint, fifty four bucks. Man, remember when this book was ten dollars. $10. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. You're doing great things. You're doing great things. Of course, Spawn. You can keep talking bad about Spawn all you want to, but he stays on the list. He stays on the list. 9.8. 9. 8. 150 bucks. I, st- I still don't 90. have that book. Ooh. Love that book. One of the best books ever. Um, that's, that's overpriced, though. Is it? Yeah, that, with I mean, the that, amount, with the amount of books that's out there, the amount, the amount of prints that that book has, it's, it's like that's nice, but like that, that yeah, nah, how many I nine eights? Eight, how for many it. nine eights are out there too? There's a buy a billion. Yeah, how many nine eights are out there though? Quite you a know? few, quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, somebody yeah. paid a buck fifty for it. Um, no, number three, Ultimate Spider-Man number one, nine point eight for two fifty, y'all, two fifty. Raw, this Man. book is a ninety to one hundred dollar book now. Can you believe that? I got that Again, high price. That's too crazy for how new the book is. Yes. Um, and based on the fact that the the last Ultimate Spider Man, which is a fantastic run in my opinion, one through one hundred, all Bendis and all Bagley, right? Legendary freaking run, as far as I'm concerned, and it's mostly dollar bin shit right now. So. True. You know, buyer true. beware. <laughs> Very true. But this doesn't have as big of a print run. The print run on this was pretty low. Is why it's it's worth money. Um eh. Yeah, it's not like I'll, in, I'll investigate because you know Ultimate yeah. Spider Man didn't come out in the days of high print runs. Yeah, but everything uh, everything now is a lower print run than ten years ago. Everything. Yeah. That's true. Uh number two, Ultimate Black Panther nine point eight. Going for a buck fifteen. Yes. Very, very dope. Very, very dope. Um, and number one, Marvel Comics presents number. It was seventy. I can't see it. Seventy something. Um, this is the first part of the Weapon X storyline where you finally got to see how Wolverine got his adamantium and everything. Nine point eight one eighty. Woo! I all have the, it. I have that. All the, uh, all the Weapon X books. Um, Got a boost. By the way, CGC census spawn number one, six 10.0s, 77 9.9s, 16,099 9.8, 8,286 9.6s. So take take that into account, folks. If you want, if you want to get down, if you want to get down and dirty, there's only one 3.5 in the census. Maybe go get the 3.5 so you can be like, I'm not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> or take yours and bend up the cover and send it in. <laughs> uh, all right, real quick, the CV, oh CVCS, right? Or CVCI? What is it again? I'm CVSI. CVSI. Thank you very much, Phil. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, here goes the honorable mentions. Sun Girl number one. Uh, CGC six point five went for three grand. Hmm. Three grand. Um, Something's killing the children. Number six, the one in twenty-five. A nine point eight went for nine hundred. Dumb. Right. Sun girl is uh, right there, Stan Lee. Ooh. That might be like, uh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, sun girl. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. The top ten. Number ten. Oh, it, the cover that I got that I thought wasn't gonna be anything. It's Star Wars: <laughs> The High Republic Adventures number four. Um, this is about a ten to fifteen dollar book now. Oh, I feel good now. Um, this is the character. Supposedly, this character is supposed to show up in the acolyte. Suppose. Still bought the other one. I bought the other one because I went back last week. If you watch New Comic Book Day, you'll see that I bought it. <laughs> I got two copies of that bad boy. All right, number nine, uh, I Heart Skull Crusher, number one, 20 to 30 bucks. I was on the last list. Uncanny X Men, number 168. 
Um, this is a thirty dollar raw CGC nine point eight. So hitting two forty. Mm. They were only on one eighty five a week ago. Okay. Uh, Throwing Alliance is number three, the one in twenty five. Uh, hitting about 45 bucks, got a high of about 60. That's double ratio. Web of Spider Man, number one, the one in 25. Um, eight dollar cover price, but this one in 25 is going for about 35 to 40. Hit a high of about 60. Um, Strange Adventures, number 205. This is the first appearance of Dead Man. Uh, some people are saying that he will be play a big part in James Gunn's DCU. Um, they haven't cast him or anything like that, but uh, One of the many 9... that it won't work. Oh, green shirt guy, we love you, and yeah, yeah, your pessimism <laughs> down there <laughs> <laughs> from the dark dungeon. Yeah, because that's a character that, that people block. Me. Come on, <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. Like, um, they called this a, I think, comment Tom and them called this a major key, and I was like, that's not a major key. Um, it's an old okay, book. Okay, let me. I, I don't know if we should go running to it because of because of James Gunn and the DCU. I mean, like my God, like I'm so I I can't say it enough. He needs to shut up and give me a Superman movie. But that yes. said, let me control myself. This is a great key book. Uh, Dead Man is a great character. Maybe three thousand for a nine point is a bit much, but it is an right. older title. But it's a true collectible, even after the hype, you know? So, I like, maybe don't buy it now. <laughs> we shall see. Three grand for a 9.0. Um, Star Wars Visions, Takashi Okazaki, the one in 100, going for about a buck 50. It had a high of 190. Um, Nova, number one, making some new jumps. Uh, rumors of a Disney Plus show. That's been rumors forever. So, I would like to have this book though. I'm talking about this in phase two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, number two, first is Mr. Sinister on Kenny X Men 221. And uh, CBSI has Uncanny X Men 200 as their number one book. Yo, that Trial of Magneto cartoon freaking bumped that book hard. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys have any of them? Please let us know in the comments below all right um all right so we're gonna do our final duck drawing and then you gotta tune in after we do new books and we'll do our race we have 22 in the live chat i'm gonna give you 10 seconds we have 17 entries that's a lot all right 10 9 8 7 6 Five, four, three, two, one. Draw. Round and round it goes. Nobody in the chat knows. Oh, where it lands knows. Yeah, that's it. Who's going to win the final duck? The Comic Chef. Comic Chef. Congratulations, Comic Chef. Make sure you're tuning in to the end of the show to see how your duck does in the race. Excellent, excellent. All right, stay tuned. We're doing the duck race after all the new books. All right, so I know y'all want to get to it, so let's get to it. Let me get some water. Let me get some water here. All right, here we go. Ultimate Spider Man number three, The Amazing Spider Man number 46. Detective Comics number 1083. Wolverine number 46, continuing the Sabretooth War. X Force 50, the final issue of X Force. Before they reboot it again. Miles Morales, Spider Man number 18. That's the 300th legacy issue. Green Arrow 10. Daredevil 7 with the incredible JRJR. Wolverine Daredevil cover. Yeah. Oh, we gotta love JRJR. Uh, the other Hulk. cover. Look at him. See, even from the dungeon, he just, you know, just gotta shoot it up there. Good job, feature guy. Uh, the Incredible Hulk number 10. The Flash number 7. Gods number 6. Are they on 6 already with Gods? Oh my god. Uh, 
Rise of the Powers of X number three. Harley Quinn number 38. Duke number four. Another great Energon Universe book right there. King Spawn number 32. Superior Spider Man number five. Monstrous number 15. Batman the Brave and the Bold number 11. Penguin number eight. Oh, they had a penguin trailer. That was a pretty cool trailer for the TV show on HBO. Uh, Alan Scott, The Green Lantern, number five. X-Men 97, number one. Power Girl, number seven. Edge of Spider-Verse, number two. That's the E first book, man. Spider-Punk Arms Race, number two. Cable, number three. Batman Dark Age, number one. Conan the Barbarian, number nine. I already got the reader. It's pretty, pretty great. You should go out there and get that from Titan. Thunderbolts number four. Ooh, is that Dr. Doom on the cover? Very nice. Amazon's Attack number six. Uh, New Burn number 16. Jackpot and Black Cat number one. The Six Fingers number two. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 118. Somna number three. Philadelphia number 34. The Dead Lucky number 12. Feral number four, one. Predator, The Last Hunt, number two. Star Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi, number six. The Oddly Pedestrian Life of Christopher Chaos, number eight. Sam and Twitch Case Files, number one. Red Stonia, number nine. Knights, number six. Marvel's Previews, number 31. Black Hammer, The End, number six. Star Trek Defiant, number 13. Zorro, Man of the Dead, number three. The Expanse, Dragon Tooth, number 10. Masterpiece, number 4. Previews, number 427. Star Wars, The High Republic Adventures, Crash Landing, number 1. Local Man, Bad Girls, number 1. The Nasty, number 8. Quick Stop, Volume 2, number 3. The Ministry of Compliance, number 4. Ghostbusters, Back in Town, number 1. Grim Fairy Tales, number 82. Primer, number one. In, in, invasive, number four. Dungeons and Dragons Saturday Morning Adventures, number three. The Goon, Them That Don't Stay Dead, number one. Under York, number one. Terror, Witch of the Black Rose, number 143. Cemetery Kids Don't Die, number two. One Piece, number 1111. Life is Strange, hmm. Forget Me Not, number two. End after end, number nine. Robert Jordan, The Wheel of Time, The Great Hunt, number five. Street Fighter Masters, Akuma vs. Rue, number one. Avatar, Frontiers of Pandora, number two. Van Helsing, Vampire Hunter, number three. Holmes and Houdini, number three. Jill and the Killers, number three. Lady Death, Imperial Requiem, number one. Back issue, number 150. Berserker, Poetry of Madness, Pen and Ink, number one. Garbage Pail Kids, Trashing Through Time, number four. Morning Star, number one. Chard Remains, number four. Eden Frost, number four. La Muerta, Devious, number one. Exciting Comics, number 43. Jungle Comics, number 26. Machine Girl at the Space Hell Angles, number two. Forgotten Runes, Wizards Cult, number three. Super Babe, starring Femforce, number 17. Tales of the Bazaar, number four. Working Class, Wizards, number two and three. Chopping Block, number five. Preview Customer Order Form, number 427. What? Umbaba, <laughs> um, number two. Dr. Corvus, Children of the Abyss, number four. Neurocron, number two. Big Ethel Energy Season 2, number 58. Katie Black Dragon, number 5. Lady Liar, number 59. Desert Rat, number 1. Red Love Comics, 23. Nosebleed. The Style Lost in Time, number 5. And last but not least, Cold Hard Ash, number two. Those are all your new books coming out this Wednesday, March 26th. 7th, 2024 at your local comic book shop. Which books are you guys getting? Please leave in the comments below. Alright, this is it. 
Cliff, will you put a two-minute race? Get that ready. You, I was actually going to do 82 seconds because it's 80. It's episode 82. Well, you know what, Cliff? Yes, we'll do 82 seconds. Do we have that every tuning in? Do we have the uh, books that uh, Cliff is going to add to it? Oh, well, Cliff. Do I want to reveal them now or later? Ooh. Ooh, reveal them Ooh. afterwards. They know what they're going to get. Okay. Right. We're looking we'll good. Do a, we'll do a quick reminder of all the books after we see our winner and let them know what they receive. All right. 82 seconds on the board. And here we go. And. Look at and those ducks go. Oh my goodness. Look at all <laughs> those ducks. This is our time to remind you that we'll be no filming box office business next Sunday. It's Easter. Enjoy the day. But we will be back next Monday at 8 p.m. for a new giveaway. We got new flags, new pops, new books, everything. Woo! Robo Floor again out in the lead over there. Oh man, so many ducks. Look at all this. Wonderful, it's beautiful. I like the game. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. T Bizzle is also in this. T Bizzle is the only chance he's going to get to win the prize. T Bizzle officially in the future will not be able to enter. Yep. Colton, Colton did win our GP slab. He's very happy. Excellent. I mean, listen, guys, we give great, great stuff here. We're glad to give it away to you guys. Last 20 seconds. Oh, here we Ryan go. The big split. Oh, is he going to do it? Go. Oh, no. no he's, he's dropping, dropping off. Back. He's dropping back. Who's uh, coming up? Oh, is that Canadian Survivalist? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Is anybody going to catch him? <laughs> oh, what a comeback. <laughs> Man. I'm so happy to be a Canadian survivalist. That's awesome. You always tune in. You're a great, great person. Um, you have to reach out to Cliff or myself. Yeah, reach out to me on, 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 Inst- on Instagram, on IG, and, and, and send me your address, and then we'll work out the international shipping and cry about it. But it's good. <laughs> good. <laughs> It's uh, Cliff NY, correct, on IG? Yes, Cliff NY IG. Canadian uh, Survivalist, yeah. tell me, do you like Marvel or do you like DC? Or do you not care? But tell me. Oh, you have a show, don't you? We're going to find out. All right, well, let me show them real quick everything before you show that that we're doing. All right, so let me get big here. I'm getting big. Let me get big. All right. So we threw this in because we, you know, we got 25 or more. So you got that second print of cable Very right cool. there. Very nice. I also threw in these two new books. You got X-Men 24, the Rogue and Gambit cover. You're getting Storm number one, the Icon cover. You're getting X-Men 271, Jim Lee, Extinction Agenda number one. You're getting Supergirl number one. Very nice. You're getting Ghost Rider number 24, dope textbook from the 90s. Get some independent action. You're getting Sins of the Salt and Sea number one from AWA. You're getting Pine and Miramac number one from Boom Studios. You're getting Legend Fell from American Mythology Productions number one and two. You're getting an In Huck Lee Timeless variant. Oh my goodness, so much stuff. You're getting mm-hmm. Uncanny X Men 228. You're getting Uncanny X Men 254. You're getting the Ryan Gary Brown Alterniverse TMNT exclusive Alterniverse cover. You're getting that. You're getting the 9.6 Astonishing X Men number one. And you're getting this Vigilante Funko Pop. And Cliff, I'm going to move you to the big. What else are you giving them? And you're getting this spectacular Spider-Man number one blank variant. You're getting this Ghost Rider final vengeance number one. Because we got up to 25 people in the 
chat tonight, and I appreciate you. You're also getting Ghost Rider Final Vengeance number one foil. Oh, very nice. And very nice. And since you tell me it's your birthday on the 28th, I see that in the chat. We're gonna throw in Clayface Batman One Bad Day, Clayface number one. Nice, very nice, Clay. And you did not answer me if you're a Marvel or a DC, so we're going to give you independent, and we're going to give you two variants of Scorch number one. Wow, nice. very nice. Oh my goodness. If that doesn't scream, if that doesn't scream amazing pack, I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> very, very nice. Congratulations, Canadian survivalists. For those of you that did not win, hey, next month's a new giveaway. And we started all over again win ducks and the whole thing and you we already have a fa- we Thank already you. have a fabulous slab to choose from for next month it's great it's excellent i also have a, another funko but uh we'll save that for next time larry's like oh my god yes, sorry. <laughs> yes larry oh my god we we do great great giveaways here all right so canadian survivors remember to reach out to cliff at Cliff NY on Instagram, or you can reach out uh, at the Council of Comics too, wherever you want to send it, and we'll get that information out and we'll get that to you as soon as possible. Tomorrow is Tuesday. We do all our filming at Alterniverse in Hyde Park, New York, between seven, between four and seven thirty. Come on over if you want to make a cameo, you want to be a part of it. Tune in, and then we drop new comic book day episode number ninety-two on Wednesday. Um, then come back on monday because there will be no film and box office news this week we'll continue that the following week and that's going to be uh austin powers the spy who shagged me that's the following week but you can watch this week to get caught up and then tune in next monday 8 p.m right here for new keys and hot comics of the week we start up a new giveaway and you get your chances to win ducks when we talk about books and everything all right so let me run through these comments real quick say what's up to everybody that tuned in and then I will let all y'all go. Oh man, a lot of people here tonight. A lot of people here tonight and we appreciate that tremendously. Las Cruces was in the house. Thank you. Beckerman was in the house. Thank you. The Comic Chef was in the house. Thank you. Uh, Big L, Larry Jackson was in the house. Thank you. Dagger Cards was in the house. Thank you. Bleecker Street Comics was in the house. Thank you. Comic Cap Collectibles was in the house. Thank you. Canadian Survivalists won the big giveaway. Thank you for tuning in. See what happens when you tune in. You win. Um, Kenneth Bird is in the house. Thank you. 20 more. 23 Monch is in the house. Thank you for joining us tonight. Ken Roland tuned in tonight. Thank you for joining us. Colton Oakley, a former winner, tuned in tonight. Thank you for joining us. Jay Margolis, thank you for tuning in tonight. Brian LCS. Hey, Brian. Thank you for tuning in, Brian. Glad you're here. Uh, just Chillin' was in the house. Thank you for just chilling with us. Uh, Hack. H-A-Q was in the house. Thank you for joining us. Eric Martinez, loyal council watcher. Thank you for joining us. Phil Aliens in the house. Thank you. Joining us, Jacqueline Devine showed up tonight. Thank you for joining us. Entropy and Comics showed up tonight. Thank you for joining us. Big Lion Cat six four six was in the house. Thank you for joining us. I believe that is all. All right. Oh Beautiful. wait, nope. Emens World of Geek tuned in. Thank you for joining us, E Man. Um, just going through these comments, a lot of them. Yep, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. So, for myself, for Cliff, for Phil, for C Bizzle. Green Share Guy and the rest of the Council of Comics. We love you. Thank you for watching. And we will see you next time. Hey. Black is like the brightest day. Where are the heroes?